recording now. Can you take that? <laughs> Why is that? Better than a dumb one. Yeah. How's it going, folks? Um, we're all on lockdown. I get a got bored. I've been uh, selling these things for a while, and I haven't actually used them myself. Yeah, I hear good things. These things I'm talking about are the Cheap Shot by Cold Steel. It's a polymer broadhead designed to replace your expensive broadheads. Why would you use a plastic broadhead? You ever taken a shot at that angle and you know that your arrow is going into the dirt? Well, why spend 20 bucks on a broadhead you know you're going to fuck up when you could spend like a toonie, right? Um, the way I see them, they're designed to snap right here where it meets the collar. So this snaps off and you save your shaft and if you got a lumen lock on the back, you save that. So the whole thing getting trashed. They come in uh, 100 and 125 grain. Today, I'm not shooting my recurve because my fingers freaking hurt from shooting it yesterday. So I'm not trying the 125s. We're using my compound bow. So it's a Hoyt Vipertec, 62 pounds at 29 inches, not that it matters. We're talking about the broadhead, not the bow. Uh, and for those who really want to know what I'm shooting though, it's a Carbon Aftermath 340 spine. Thank you Borman's Archery for hooking me up. I've been going to Borman's for years. You can go to like big box stores like Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops, but why? They don't care about you. They really don't. So, the whole point of this is uh, I'm about three field tips, 100 grain, three broadheads, 100 grain. I'm going to put them all down there at yonder target, and we're going to see if they group similar to the field tips. I'm not going to be going for accuracy here because I'm tired and sore and whatever other excuse I can make up that makes up for my crap shooting today. So insert that excuse here. We're looking for groupings, not shot placement. Yeah, that was my airplane falling down. And I say shush, because your mom's recording. I'm going to bend over here and pick up this last arrow that I dropped. I mean, I don't know if the camera can see it from there. The group's pretty tight. My shot placement is crap, and I have that one <laughs> that dropped real low, but they're all in the same. Looks like two, three inch grouping. All right, let's uh, take a walk down and see how bad I suck. Thanks, Mac. We're gonna ignore this. This is me trying to shoot the recurve earlier, and it went in the dirt because ouch. So as you can see. The group is not perfect, but they're all close. This is pretty standard for me for not having shot for a few months. I'm going to ignore that and call that pilot error. But the field tips, and I'll pull them out so you can see which one's which. And even for up here. So there's 
Cheap shot. Uh, cheap shot. Field tip. Field tip. Field tip. That low flying one, which I think is my fault, is the uh, cheap shot. They hold up pretty good. They're still pretty sharp. I'm not going to use these ever for hunting, but I would continue to use them for target practice. If you can get a close look at them. It's a pretty nasty looking broadhead. It's a reinforced tip. They're serrated. I mean, it's, it's going to chew up whatever it hits. Um, I personally, I don't know that the manufacturer says to do it, and I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't hunt large game. Like, I wouldn't hunt a moose or a bear with this thing. Not a freaking chance. Uh, but if you happen to have a hog in your area, oh, definitely on hog, on grouse, um, on a deer. You know, if a deer is real close, maybe you're in a tree stand, you're shooting down at the deer. Your arrow is going in the dirt. Don't waste your uh, $20 Toxic or Montec or whatever you're shooting. Well, try something cheap. I'll post some more pictures uh, after the video of more groupings. But this is where I'm going to cut the video. It's just because I want to drink some coffee and, and shoot some. And uh, the girlfriend has that look on her face that she's tired of holding the fucking camera. I love you too. Uh, okay, so cheap shot broadhead by Cold Steel. Um, I think it's a, a viable alternative to your expensive uh, steel broadheads. Cut your own path.